Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 5.30 starts now. A terrifying confrontation with police as a man armed with a machete threatens Port Huron police, and it all happened as the dash cam rolls. A wild confrontation with police caught on tape, and that tops our news at 5.30. This was Sunday morning between Port Huron police and a 32-year-old man, as you saw, wielding a machete. He started by fighting with his brother, but as Jason Colthorpe explains, the reason for that fight was pretty strange. As the suspect walked down this sidewalk and driveway at police with a machete in his hands, the amazing thing is when you see this video and hear what he was yelling at police, how he didn't end up dead. Listen, we don't want you to get hurt. Another guy come out through the driveway, standing there arguing. Arguing that grew louder, and by the time police arrived just before 8 a.m. Easter morning, they were staring at Joseph Curtis holding a machete and threatening them, saying, Bring all your friends. Only way you're taking me in is if you shoot me. And they kept telling him to back up, drop your weapon. Back up, drop your weapon. He kept charging at the car, the car, and the car actually was bumping him, trying to push him back. A Port Huron officer did shoot Curtis, but with a beanbag shotgun. He dropped the machete fell down and was quickly in the back of a squad car. He could have been instantly killed. A family member told me the argument was between Curtis and his brother. Curtis was upset because he thought someone had gone into his room and taken newborn kittens and moved them behind the couch. He's facing assault charges and assault with intent to murder. They did what they, had, did, they could so that they didn't have to kill him, I believe. Oh, boy, that's for sure. I mean, really, how about the job by Port Huron police in this to avoid using lethal force? Now, Curtis did not live at that house. And when I was talking to that relative, I asked, does he have anger issues? Is this one of his problems? And she simply said, I don't know him that well. He's always in jail. Devin. And in fact, you've been looking into some of these previous crimes as well. We have, and uh, nothing as strange as this, but you know, when you look down his rap sheet, it goes back a ways, all the way back to uh, 2003 with a domestic violence conviction, and then in 2004, assaults, stolen vehicle, and then in 2009, a felon in possession of a firearm. So yeah. no stranger, stranger to the legal system. Yeah. Devin. All right, Jason.